Okay. So my first, I was terrified probably of public speaking, although when I was growing up I always wanted to be an actress and things like that, but I wasn't particularly good. And then I thought I wanted to be a lawyer, but then, uh, but I didn't have many opportunities for public speaking. Um, it, one little one, actually, which is kind of funny, when I was, I grew up in eastern Washington and I was a member of the Future Farmers of America, and we had a um, creed contest where, <laughs> where you do, I believe in the future of farming, you know, and, and uh, I, I won locally, but then when it went, when it was time to go to the next level, I got tonsillitis and never was able to go, <laughs> so, but that was, that was mostly it. Um, and then uh, when I was in college at Cal State Long Beach, I took a communications class, the public speaking course. And the teacher was, I was pregnant for one, so I was been pretty far along pregnant. And uh, the teacher was this um, big teddy bear of a guy. And, uh, and he, he, this class was the most um, reassuring, comfort friendly class. He just, the atmosphere that he created made everyone feel comfortable. And he told us, everybody's afraid of public speaking. This is, it's not unusual. Everybody's scared of it. And um, he'd gone through, he was a Toastmaster. Uh -huh. So he talked about Toastmasters and he said, you know, if you really, if this class doesn't do it, then take a Toastmasters class because mm -hmm. that'll really help you. And he did set up the class essentially to be, we know we're all afraid, we're all gonna do it, we're all gonna be public speaking. And we're all going to be really supportive of one another. Mm -hmm. And it really was that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was, it was a, a very diverse class, but everyone, everyone became friends. Everyone mm -hmm. really did support one another. Mm -hmm. So it was a, um, it was great. And I thought, mm -hmm. and after that, I really did feel comfortable um, with it. I, and then I went into teaching where you're always mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. Although I, I would still, even years of teaching and now years of, of public speaking, giving speeches, different places, I still am very nervous beforehand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I still am. I still get nervous ahead of time, prepare, d prepare a lot, and uh, but then it goes well. And I, so my, um, I do consider teaching public speaking, but also um, when you're teaching your real goal is not for you to be just speaking. Your real goal is to engage the students. Mm -hmm. So, um, but when I became the president of the faculty union at Seattle Community Colleges, then I was called on to do more like testifying mm -hmm. or going to events and, and speaking mm -hmm. at large events, and, uh, which I think is a very different thing than being in the classroom. Mm -hmm.